Okay, so um, everybody loves Ikea, but they hate putting it together. This is what they call a Hemness bookshelf. It goes with like the centerpiece. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. But I already put one of these together, and so I know how to do it. So I'm gonna show you how to put it together, and we'll follow along with the instructions. Okay, first thing we got, we're just gonna lay everything out. That way you can kind of see where it all is. And as you can see right here from step one, we got these bad boys laid out just like so. Then I took that whole bag and just put it into like a paper plate that we can grab what we need. First things first, once this is laid out, you grab eight of these and I'll show you the holes they go into. They go into here, here, the smaller holes on the top, and then the exact opposites on the next piece. I'll show you once I get them in too. So that piece, and right there. Okay, here they are in. Now step two, take the smaller screw-ins and we're gonna put them in this middle hole and the sideways one on both. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, this is what they'll look like in. One sideways, one is up. Next one, one sideways, one is up. Okay, this is step number three. Gotta grab these four and then these two blocks. Now come look right here. All you gotta do is line them up with these holes and put them in, okay? And they'll give you a nice little Allen wrench to do that. Make sure when you do it, this part is faced up. Okay, same thing on this side, over here. Same thing faced up and we'll screw them in. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so now watch what I'm doing. I'm gonna actually put these in most of the way, but I'm gonna get it to where they're not threaded. And now watch, when I set it in, it helps me line that up and it just sets down. See, now it's kind of solid in there. Now I can just tighten it the rest of the way. Okay, this is the second one. I want you to just tighten it down. Now, you don't want to get these things too tight, but you want them almost flush. But it's pretty easy. Okay, that part's done. Along with step three, all we've got to do is put these into each one of these holes. They just screw in. Really easy. Okay. Okay, step five. One of these wooden dowels. Right into, not the one that lines up with the hole, but this other one. So we'll just kind of tap that in. Now watch, this part goes on the outside to line up with this groove, and we'll just set it in. Step six, take one that's the same as step five with the groove right here. Put it in the opposite side from the hole and instead of on the bottom, now it goes into the top. Slides right in. Step number seven, get the different pieces than what we just did. These have no grooves and you put in the dowels on the opposite side of the circle. Now watch, just line them up here. That one's in. We'll come up and do the one on top, same story. Line it up. And then if you want, you can go ahead and just put little dowels in there. I'll put one in the tops of these as well. Just like this. One there, and then opposite. And then I'll have to do one in the top here. Let me grab it. Oh, we've already got them in the top. Step eight, grab four of these. And I find that it's a lot easier, even though they're Phillips, to use a flathead. And what we'll do is we'll stick them right in here, and then we'll tighten them. Okay, so we push it in, and then we'll tighten it until it grabs. Probably be about 90 degree turn. And we'll do that same thing here, here, and on both ends. Step nine, 
So we already put those wooden dowels in. So now Chase get on that other end. We're actually gonna grab this other side and we're gonna flip it right on top and set it down. Ready? Line up those holes, bud. When they're lined up, just tap it down. Good? Yep. Okay, cool. Step 10, four more holes on that top. One, two, what can you see that? Two, and then the two down there. So we're just gonna put them in just like we did on the bottom. Grab it like this, turn it in. Oh, I got it upside down, push it in. And then grab our screwdriver. Sorry, it's hard to film and do that at the same time. And turn it about 90 degrees. Do that to all four. Step 11, just turn this on its back. You don't need two people to do that. You can just set it down. Now for step 12 and doing the top, I'm actually gonna use some of these that I saved over from the packaging to watch. I'm gonna prop this up on the top because this is where we're gonna put kind of an overhang. That gives it enough room. So I'll use a couple more of those just to prop it up. I think in the instructions it says to use books, but this was easier. Grab it, prop it up. There you go. Okay, step 12, now that we got it up on these um, blocks, two more dowels, line it up. This piece has the holes on it. Should put those in. It's only two, and hopefully we're tall enough with what we just used. Now you should be seeing kind of this pine looking side, right? If not, you've got it upside down. And then watch. Step 13, five of these screws. One, two, three, four, five. Pretty simple. We'll just put them in and then we'll screw them all the way in. Now when you screw them all the way in, you probably don't want to go too far. Just want them almost flat. Because if not, you're going to actually press in that wood too much and it may crack. Okay. Step 14, find the shelf with these pieces on it. And that's gonna line up with this, right, Katie? Yeah, okay, so then we're gonna put it in from the top, obviously. Uh, oh, let me turn that around. This is the back, look out, kiddo. There we go. And then, Come over this side, Chase, so you can see it. They'll just set in. And then we'll use a flat top screwdriver and tighten it. Actually, you might need to use a fill up on this one, depending on how big your, your screwdriver is. That's good. So that piece was like through step 16. Now we're on to step 17. Take these, and these actually open. And then, obviously, the white side goes on the inside. And the brown on the outside. Now you have to also match up to line up here. Because if you put this down here, it won't work. It's got to be on top. Put it into the grooves. And then you can just kind of slide it in. Okay, that's one. And we'll do this other one on the bottom. They say to put this sideways. I didn't. I guess you could. Maybe that's so you can get this into the groove a little bit better, but it just drops in. Okay. Okay, so that was actually through step 20. I think 17 through 20. Then you've got to grab these. And this one specifically, you've got to screw it into the shelf underneath. You cannot go this way. They say not to. They say on this one to go that way. And you'll put a screw in the middle of it. And you'll just tighten it down. Takes a second to grab, but that's okay. You see how it kind of splits those two? And then it'll grab that shelf. You'll screw it right in. They may bend a little bit, but that's okay. All you're trying to do is hold it in. Now it's kind of eating in there. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight either. That's one. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Right here. Okay, step 20. What? 22. They've got to be like this. And we'll screw them in the same on the bottom. Come up here. And on the top, I guess it has a hole done for it. So you can just go right into that hole. 
cool. So we'll line that up, right, Teddy? Yeah. And then I'll just screw right in. Makes it easy. Yeah. Yes, it does. Just like that. Okay, we'll do that in the other three spots. All right, before 23, before I stand it up, I got these little felt pads. I think it's a good idea, see we have hardwood floors, to just put them on the bottom of each one of these. I did that on my other, that way I can slide it around without scratching the, the floor. They're just adhesive. So we'll take off the adhesive back, stick them on. Just peel off the back, self-adhesive. You can get them at Lowe's or Home Depot, whatever, and I'll just put one of those on each floor. Step 23, we'll stand it up. And then we'll start working on all the shelves. Now that we've got it all stood up, step 25 and 26, take these, and then you have to find the one that's curved. Now here's one thing you gotta notice, guys, and this is on one of the earlier steps. I actually just had to take this whole thing apart and make sure that these are here, because look, come up here. I had them up here. It was really easy to do, I just had to take the sides and everything back off to get to it, but now watch. The, the long side goes into the holes right here. Okay, and then the right there. And then if you'll notice right here, Chase, I don't know if you can do this. Come on. You gotta be right here. Now will hold this shelf in. Watch this. Now this goes back on this back side. I'm guessing in case you want to put a cord or something through there. Okay. All right, final step. You'll come and find out which holes you want, and you can just figure out the spacing. I'm just going to match mine up to my others that I already did, which means I'm going to be one, two, three from the bottom. Look. Do you see that? One, two, three, long side in, and then match it up with his other side. Now here's what's different on the front. There's one that's a little bit grooved. You see that? That we're now going to count up one, two, three, and that goes to where this is pointing up. Show them that, Chase. All right, now watch. Here, we're going to go to this one. Count up one, two, and three. Now we'll get a shelf, doesn't matter what shelf. And look, those front ones actually go into these. So I'll set it in, I put it in diagonally, set the back down first, and that will just drop right into these holes. There you go, now do the same thing, just space it out, and you'll be done. Voila. You're welcome. And there you have a finished product with both sides. These are pretty tall and skinny, so let me just show you what I did on top here. Yeah. Step up here. I used their thing and did anchor it in the wall, and then I actually painted it, but now I only did one on each side. But now it doesn't go anywhere. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching.